Black Workshop? Loan? Sounds like stuff worth remembering. I can sense someone inside. Uh, what the? You. Forgot you were staying here too. Yeah. What was that? It's gone now anyway. Maybe it was just my imagination. So what's up? I couldn't give a damn whether you joined the Alliance or not, to be honest. Oh, I didn't come here for any specific reason. Interesting. You mixed by any chance? Could I sit and talk to you for a while? What a pain in the ass. So, what do you want to ask? When we ran into each other back near Berea Heart, you asked a weird question. Something about being mixed? Oh, that? I didn't have the chance to figure out what that meant at the time. But what did you mean? I don't know if I can even explain that one. It's just something you feel. What we've got mixed into us is obviously different in strength and nature. It's kind of hard to put into words. <sighs> yeah, seems that way. I know you're not trying to confuse me on purpose, but I really can't wrap my head around what you're saying. <sighs> just watch. No trick to it. I'm not using an ore mint, it's not magic. And I'm not using an artifact either. I just will fire to appear, and it does. So it's just a totally unnatural ability? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Something that just gives you results without the processes you usually have to go through to obtain them. You've got one too, right? Well, true. That power of mine wasn't something I gained from training. I don't even know where the power itself is coming from. It's the same kind of thing. People who can do things like that usually have something mixed into them. Something foreign, unnatural, mixed into their body itself. Different to the church's stigmas. Looks like a pretty small part of it in your case, though. Oh. I couldn't tell you how, where, or why whatever it is got mixed into you. Sure you've got more questions, but sorry. I can't answer them. No, it's okay. You've answered enough already. I feel like I understand myself a little better now, actually. <laughs> Good for you, I guess. So, we done now? Yeah, thanks for your time. Oh yeah. So how much of you is unnatural? Me? All of me. Hmm. His circumstances seem very different from mine. Guess all I can do is remember what he said. Maybe there will come a time when it'll all make sense. I'm sure one day I'll find out what this power of mine is. What the story behind me being given this power as a kid is. One day. I wonder who's in here? Hmm, we got a visitor? Come on in. Excuse me.
<laughs> Figured it was you. Sup? Have a seat. Bourbon? I suppose not. Yeah, I really shouldn't. How come you guys are being so friendly, though? I mean, we're on opposing sides and all. <laughs> Why wouldn't we be? It's not like we're on a battlefield right now. We're Jaegers. Nothing unusual about us trying to cut some throats one day than sitting in a bar with the same guys the next. Of course, if you would rather fight with us, that can be arranged. I shall have to politely decline. For one thing, I don't think I'd stand the slightest chance of taking you two down. Hey, now, no need to be so pessimistic. If he seems to think pretty highly of you, have a little more faith in yourself. At the very least, you'd be able to give us a real fight in your divine night. Not that I'd have any intention of losing even then. The scary thing is, I'm pretty sure he's dead serious. Well, they're used to taking out tanks. They probably have their ways. Huh. Oh, yeah? Ranking 72nd for the year in an academy full of big shot students ain't half bad. Huh. Brings a tear to my eye to see our little Fee putting her heart into her education. And don't forget, she was the youngest of her classmates, too. The boss was right when he said that she can do anything she puts her mind to. You got that right. Maybe joining the gardening club will make her a bit more ladylike, too. Oh, who am I kidding? She's still young. She has plenty of time to develop on that front if she so pleases. <laughs> they really seem to adore her, like two proud parents talking about their child. And yet... If you don't mind me asking, why did you leave V behind? After your boss was killed in a battle with his sworn enemy, I mean. Oh, V told you about that. It sounds like you're closer to her than I thought you were. I trust this is simply me being paranoid. But you haven't tried making any moves on her, have you? No, of course not. I wouldn't dream of it. I just want to know why you'd abandon her when she obviously means so much to the two of you. She thought of you all like family. Why did you leave her all alone? Well... Hmm... We had our reasons. Let's leave it at that. I know you want to know, but you're not the one we should be telling that to. We'll be sure to tell Fee our reasons in due time. Until then, leave the issue be. Alright. I can accept that. Still, she's our classmate. In that sense, she's like family to me, to us, too. And we feel that way about her just as strongly as you do, if not more so. I want to be perfectly clear on that. <laughs> Fighting words right there. But still, we'll remember you said that. Returning to the matter at hand, you're sure you haven't tried to make any moves on her? Come on, spit it out! They really are like two overprotective fathers. I was hoping to get a bit more out of them about what Zephyr is up to. All we did was talk about Fee the whole time. Oh well. At least now I know that the guys in Zephyr really cared about her, so it wasn't a complete waste of time. someone inside. Huh? It's open. Come on in. That sounds like... Excuse me. Oh, it's you. 
You finished talking with C? His name's Crow, not C. And he's never going to be anything else for me. <laughs> oh, I know his real name. But to us, he's always going to be C. That's our leader. He might be young, but each and every one of us look up to him and respect him. Anyway, take a seat. You got a whole lot of questions, I bet. Does you asking that mean you're willing to answer them? <laughs> Depends on the questions. Just out of curiosity, how many members does the Imperial Liberation Front have left? I know the explosion back in the mine was staged, obviously. Sure was. Anyway, uh, ten, give or take? We lost most of our members as soon as the war started kicking into gear. Oh. Is that because the group's primary objective had been fulfilled? Basically, yeah. We all came from different backgrounds. But the one thing we had in common was that we hated that bastard's guts. So after he kicked it, most of the guys didn't really have any reason for sticking around. Can't say I blame him for calling it quits. Crow said that seeing this war through to its end was the last part of his game. Are the members who haven't left sticking around for similar reasons? <laughs> Interesting question. Can't speak for the others, but me? I don't really care how this war goes. I mean, I'm a former Jaeger who can hold his own in a fight. I've always lived for war. And teaching those dumbasses in the provincial armies how to pilot soldats is a job worth doing, even if it's a pain. If we disband, I'll find myself something else to do. I see. I can't defend the assassination of the Chancellor or what you did near Trista. But I'd be happy if you chose to disband at least. You're a funny kid, being oddly nice to us after all the shit we caused, don't you think? The cycle of hatred's gone on for long enough. The crimes you've committed will never vanish, but no one wants this war to go on longer than it has to. It's not as though you guys want war, do you? <laughs> That's enough of the niceties. If you've got time to worry about us, use it to worry about yourself. Whether you choose to side with the Alliance or go against them, You've got a tough road ahead, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Make sure to think long and hard before you decide. And if we end up as enemies again, show me what you got. On the battlefield, I mean. Excuse me. I think I might have been too harsh on the kid. Still... Yeah. He's probably perfect for the job. He saw right through me. He's not wrong, though. I should be worrying about myself right now. seemed kind of different, though. Like he'd lost his spark. His sole objective in life seemed to be to get revenge for his old Jaeger Corps killed by Osborne. Maybe he's just not sure what to do with himself now that he's done just that? I can sense someone inside. And judging by the fact that V is in the next room, Hmm? Come on in if you like. Excuse me. Hello there, love. I'd heard you came on board yesterday, so I did wonder whether we would run into one another at some point. Hello, Scarlet. 
Last time we spoke was a month and a half ago near Trista, I think. Quite a memorable day for both of us, wasn't it? There's no need to stand over there. Come and have a seat. I'll pour us some tea. It, you really don't have to. <laughs> well, I guess there's no harm in chatting for a bit. These tea leaves really are wonderful, aren't they? Only the best for the airship of Erebonia's most powerful noble, I suppose. I have to admit, the fragrance is like no tea I've ever had before. You're right, though. It makes sense if it's something Duke Cayenne personally chose. Oh? I was under the impression that your family is a part of the nobility, too. Your father is a baron, isn't he? He might be a noble, but generally barons aren't all that wealthy. We live a relatively modest lifestyle. <laughs> oh, really? I wouldn't have thought it before, but maybe my family was actually more well-off than yours. And Scarlet. I heard she lost her old hometown when he went and built a railway through it. What kind of family did you come from, then? Oh, they weren't nobles, if that's what you're wondering. They were just relatively wealthy farmers. We were almost local celebrities in a way. Oh, I see. <laughs> You're wondering how someone like me became a terrorist? It's written all over your face. Well, I can't deny that I'm curious. I heard that you lost your hometown because Osborne built a railway through it. Oh, did C tell you? No, I suppose it must have been V. He never was one to keep quiet about things. So... I mean, what happened? Some things are best left unsaid, I think. It's not as if knowing would somehow allow you to change things. I suppose. <laughs> You're so adorable, Reen. Now I know why C took a liking to you. What do you say? How about you come and fight with me and the other big girls and boys? It'll be fun, I promise. <sighs> Please, stop teasing me. Anyway, thank you for the tea. It wasn't just made with high-quality leaves. It was brewed exceptionally, too. <laughs> You're very welcome. Oh, actually, I may as well ask while I have the chance. Where did you learn how to use that weapon of yours anyway? It's pretty unique. Oh, that? I suppose it can't hurt to tell you. The holy city of Arteria. The Arteria? Where the high seat of the Septian Church is? That's the one. It's called a Templar Sword, and it's a traditional weapon in the church. A few years ago, I was studying to be a sister and was trained in how to use it there. Surely you must be talking about some other church, right? You're telling me there are sisters in the Septian Church who use weapons like that? <laughs> there are more things in this world you don't know than you could possibly imagine. Well, it doesn't matter much now. I ended up returning to Erebonia before my training was complete. Oh? Anyway, that's all I'm telling you for now. I'll give you the full story if you decide to join us. Sound fair? And if you choose not to join, well... That way has its own charms, I suppose. She ended up being a lot friendlier than I expected her to be. I wonder how much of what she was saying about being a sister was true. She seemed to really hate the Chancellor. I wonder what she intends to do now that he's gone. <laughs> 